This is the Doodle Crate from the Kiwi Crate family. It's um, basically educational, like monthly subscriptions. I did Tinkle Crate, which was more like social engineering and stuff like that. This is the All uh, Project one, Doodle Crate. I was really more excited for this, so I wanted to make sure I did this one. So yeah, um, it comes in this cool little box. And it's actually really neat because it actually says on the side, paper, clay, pencil holders. So it tells you what you're gonna end up getting it to make inside. Awesome. And then here's the book. Make your own pencil holders and handmade pencils. Well, you can do that with almost every day. I've actually made paper when I was in like ninth grade. It was a project. Okay, so. Make your own paper? Uh -huh. so first, we need clay. So it says divide it into three pieces. So it says like that. And then like that. Okay, as shown to separate these and roll it into a ball. You then, should be good at making balls. I'm just good at playing with them. I bet you are. Okay, then take it into the on uh, then drop it onto the table to give it a flat bottom. Don't pick it up. Slam it. Pick it up. Okay, that, flat bottom. Yeah. You, you <laughs> messed. It, it doesn't. Yeah, it's set. No, yeah, no. It's set. Right here. Hold on. What does it say? Drop. Literally, drop, not throw. Okay, drop. There's a difference between drop and throw, ladies and gentlemen. What she did was what she did was a throw. There's the drop. I like my stuff. Yes, I know. All right, take the next piece and make a head for your hedgehog by rolling a large rounded cone. Yeah. No, it's this one. Right. You're gonna. Do you know what? You can take the last piece yeah, and roll five balls to make feet and a tail. If you have any extra clay left over, just add it to the body. Next, take a pe pencil to create a cross lines on the body. Well, we want to stick it. There we go. Stick the head onto the body. Wet your finger and smooth the edges. Oh, Roll it, wet it. Okay, so I think I got that kind of like rolled together. Okay, now do the same for the feet and the tail. Okay, so for the feet and the tail. Yeah, but you notice the body of the hedgehog is kind of like. <laughs> it's starting to look more like a turtle. Don't tell me, I'll turn it into a fucking turtle. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about a hedgehog, but this is definitely looking like a turtle. So I think we might as well just call it a turtle. Okay, use a pencil to make five holes in the body. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then go oh back gosh, and push the dowel. Okay, so it's saying to use this thing. Mm. Right? Make sure. Oh, this is to make the holes big enough for the um, pencil. Pencil. Oh, yeah. So you just stick it in. Use a little water to smooth out any cracks in the clay, then let it dry overnight. Okay, so this is gonna. Well, I'll paint this at home. Because we're not hanging out here all night for this. My hands are all wet. She would know after playing. Okay, so. No, don't you even do it. <laughs> you do it, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you should have thought about this ahead of time. Let me get you a towel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hands are clean now. <laughs> okay, so that'll dry up night. Okay, two, make your pencils. Unfold your paper and paint a line of blue along the crease. Okay, unfold your paper and paint a line of glue along the crease. Then place a piece of lead into the glue. Okay, you start painting, I'm going to get the lead. Okay. 
scientist placed in too deep loop. Okay. So step, oh, create an inch fold above, oops. Okay, unfold your paper too. Line up one edge of the lead with the edge of the paper. So you gotta line it up. You can actually have it flush, it says. Okay, so that's flush. Um, fold over the paper on top of and over the lead. Pinch the paper around the lead to keep it in place. Paint on one on another thin layer of glue. Okay. This is thin, so I'm kind of trying to do it as thin as I can. Okay. Of glue, then use both hands to slowly roll the lead up toward the end of the paper. Okay, slowly roll up. I think we should have done this first. Before the mess. They have it second, okay? Making the pencil second in the book. They should have probably did it first before like the mess with the clay. Yeah. Yeah, so now it's gonna stick to wherever you put it. No, it'll dry. For the moment, it'll stick. But it'll dry at some point, so it'll dry. Yeah, and then the paper's gonna be all hard, and then how are you gonna sharpen it? That's why it's a sharpener. Let me go over what a sharpener is. It's sharp. And then, and then it's like really cool, because it tells you then to make, make your pencils extra special. Make your pencils extra special with some simple decorations. Yeah, how are you gonna do that when you're just covered in glue? Shut up. So basically, you're, make, you're making your own nifty little pencil. You're making it your own. And well, she, yeah, she just. So we got the glue and that was for that. Then the sharpener for that. Um, multiple colors, I did, I, so look. And then there's the color glass. Oh, so you can make no. it. I think it's for painting. The color gloss. Yeah, painting the dude. Oh, you, you mean uh, the hedgehog. Hedgehog. Paint your hedgehog. Turtle, whatever. Yeah, at least I didn't do the blowfish. Okay, so then this is like wait a minute or two in between each color to let the paint dry and make sure it doesn't mix on your pencil holder. For a little extra depth, mix some white and light brown paint. Paint the very end of your hedgehogs. Oh, to like do that. Um, let dry for about 30 minutes. Wow, everything takes time. Oh, and then let after that's done, you do um this and this. Oh, this feels nice. And then let it dry for another 30 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that feel nice? That feels very nice. It's nice. I'm like totally colored play. Mm -hmm. And so am I, thanks to someone. So yeah, definitely, I would say check out Kiwi Crates and the different variety of crates that they have for kids. I know I'm goofing off like an adult playing with it, but it's specifically designed for children for learning activities. Um, with this one, I actually went to school for child development, but this one is great fine motor skills from the actual molding of the clay to the rolling of the pencil, and along with the color education of it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Learn, you know, experiment with the colors and. Um... That it, it's it's a really good sensory activity, learning activity for children, and as an adult, just fun to play with. Indeed. Definitely check out Kiwi Crates. Plus, just a reminder, this is lively and opinionated, and the opinions are the views of the host and co-host.